I've really enjoyed sitting here for the last hour listening to all the debates. And one thing I've noticed through anecdote and anecdote and point to point is that no one's actually ever come out there and said, vote for me, I think I'm the best candidate. I'm doing that now. I've been spending the last two years completely dedicated to KCLSU as a volunteer, working with student council, working with Rory's deputy editor, and as president of the Economic Society last year. I've got a thousand signatures on issues like 24 hour library open times, that's just as a volunteer. Imagine what I could do if this is my job. I really, really kind of dream of having this as my job. So please vote for me. And so, um, before I start talking about myself, um, and if this is dead or um, congratulations to all the candidates. It's incredibly tough to sit here and talk. Um, you've all talked for 40 minutes from what I've seen. That's incredibly long. Um, and it's a long week ahead, but I'm massively amazed. And as current case I see president, see so many people wanting to engage, wanting to represent their community, wanting to go out and make a change, is hugely important. Um, to pick up on Luke's question, I think there's just a few reasons why I really want to do this for another year, why I really want to get the job that we started and finished. Um, the first one is I never imagined doing this job when I was a student. It very accidentally happened to me. Somebody said, you should think about running. I ran. I won. I didn't see that one coming. Um, and I found myself in this job. And we've had all this work put in for so many students trying to solve issues. Whether they're around the peer support scheme, whether they're around international students and funding, whether around reset fees, whether they're around our student staff. And it's just so gratifying. There's so much more to do with the energy we put in. Um, and I really want to finish that because I want to leave Kings in a much better community than I found when I was a student and give back for all that's given to me. The second reason is um, I'm not rerunning, and I'd like to put this quite bluntly, um, in a way that I just want to coast into a second year. Um, we've done a lot this year, there's a lot more left to do, and I really have a very ambitious manifesto of things that I want to work on throughout the next year to make sure we deliver on them. Whether it has to do with making sure we deal with it in course costs and make sure that nobody has to break open the bank to go for a sh uh, short loan or anything else to pay for their education or anything related to it. Whether it's around welfare, whether it's around the education, how the activities and groups are involved with. I want to make sure we can leave this in the best possible way okay. with real target policies. Thanks, sir. this year creating things like the Society Newsletter, which is part of the last AGM, that allows society to promote to all students and get outside their core base. Also, the Society Cooperation Fund, that incentivizes societies on different campuses to work together, automatically bringing students together as well. And then once you get students meeting each other, actually what you get is the campuses working together. So rather than getting a voice of 6,000 guys, 8,000 strand, on, on the same issue, working separately, you actually get the campuses working as a unit. There's 25,000 students projecting their voice throughout the whole of London, really making sure that we're listening to. That's what I want to see. Now, with Student Assembly, that gives all students the chance to have a voice on the issues that matter. Not just with the Student Council, where it's just a group of 40 students, and however good they are, it's very difficult to represent 25,000 students. This gives all students a voice. I mean, in the long run, it's very bad if KCSU can't engage every single student in what it does if they find it relevant to do so and to take away obstacles. Um, the only thing where it's not defer is I don't think that's just about formal structures. That's not just about us creating certain sets of structures. It's about us cultivating a culture. It's about us really giving tools and resources, um, research, staff time, real help to project issues nationally. And that's not just about student assembly. I think that's a very big project for KCSU in the next few years, is to make sure we support every student in the enterprise that they wish to undertake and the goals they want to achieve, whether that's in KCSU or outside. We really do, do need to be looking at a refresh of square in January. That's my manifesto, and it's just a chance for students to join societies halfway through a year. So many times people will miss the vote in September and feel as though they don't want to be that one student who's alone with everybody who knows each other. Refresh is there, is that chance to join. KCLSU needs to look at innovative solutions like Refresh is there, and that's why I'm standing here. We're going to make you understand what lives in the groups, what the issues are, but we're going to work with you to develop solutions to bring that over to students. 
And that's an approach we have in Edinburgh, and it's way bigger than money or rooms or funding. It's a culture where we see students and student groups as equals, and those things that we manage. And we've been moving towards that. It's a long project, um, but I want to finish that. I want to make sure that we see student groups as equals, that we empower it properly, we don't put any obstacles to them. First thing is a huge amount of power, and has the ability to change fundamentally the way in which the union works and engages with students. That's the president's job, that's why we elect them. And I want to do that. I really want to see the union engaging on all campuses, not just the Strand, and not just starting to do it at Guy's. At Denmark Hill, we only have a storm like that, with a little flag on it saying KCRC. It takes you a while to get a hang of it. It took me a few months to understand in how many different ways and how many different areas I can make things change. But you absolutely can. What people don't tell you before you start this job is that it requires not necessarily money or time, it requires to really understand an issue, really reach out. International fees as well, nobody talks about it, but 4,000 students at King's used to see their fees go up by random amounts between each year of study. We've capped that to inflation, that's massive. We're the first top university in the UK to do that, but it requires a lot of directing in different areas. The college, our union, our staff, students, and so on and so forth. Hi there, I've got a question aimed at Robbie. So I've looked at your manifesto, and you're wanting to create a week of mental health awareness and welfare. Uh, actually, the MSA already did that. It was Wellness Week. It was back in November. I'd love to hear about the week that you plan on creating an addition. Okay. Well, we briefly, and then also the Sophie wants to try as well. No, this is, a, this is fantastic. I'm not going to hide it. I got my idea from that. I want to see these great things the MSA and other groups are doing spread across all campuses. The one in November was great. I'm very, very happy we're investing in it. Um, I think you'll agree with me as well, it's just the beginning of a very big thing we have to change. Um, we'll have a wealth, wellness week going on, we still won't have enough proper and adequate welfare support at King's for students throughout their degree. So what I'm hoping is to, to use that to kick off a lot more projects I've been working on this year. I feel that the expansion of services is very important and actually it's not really about creating a, a welfare week as you've mentioned but expanding what's already there. There's a lot of really, really big shifts coming up. Um, to a certain extent, I think KCLSU should have the ambition of being like a good, solid, robust ship that can withstand those storms and keep doing what the students wanted to do. So what we want is a team that can go straight in with the Kingsway, cooperate, feet running on the ground, and make progress immediately. That's what I want. Uh, what do you think are the next top three most important issues affecting clinical medical students? Placement costs, massive issue, the way in which they're not consistently being reimbursed, and the way system, in which the system is cumbersome, actually means a lot of people don't get their expenses back properly and fund their placements out of their own pocket. Massive issue. Um, you said not to mention maintenance grant, but frankly I think it's the biggest issue. And the third thing is quality of teaching at GKT is very inconsistent. The year sizes. You have about 450 people in a year in the medical degrees, and what that ends up with is an administration nightmare of students feeling more like a number in that course than, a, than actually a person, like they're being tra treated like a person. Something needs to be looked into there. I really hope that we can see reduction in the year sizes because it just leads to a reduced, less in quality student experience. Also, there's been progress done on the OSCEs. But I think there needs to be better feedback. So to wrap that up, finally from each of you, could we just have sort of 10, 20 seconds of what you are offering, which the other candidate isn't? So we've only got two candidates for this role. Well, why should people at the end of the day in this election come out and vote for you? Yeah, I'm going to stick to your 20 seconds. I actually have a team that want to work with me, they want to go in, hit the ground running, and get change straight away with the King's State. I've got innovative solutions. You can see that with refreshes week. You can see that with the McCallum Cup for second, third, and fourth teams. These things haven't been thought of before. I want to see them changed now. Vote for me. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, said. Um, there's two things I can mention. I think, like I said a few times, I'm, I'm seeing this as a really big project, getting it right over two years, and I think longevity is important. I'm bringing in a ton of experience in achieving real results for students and not just sticking to saying all the little promises. Um, and finally, if you look at my manifesto, I invite you to do so. I think I've tried to hit a very good balance between immediate issues like student poverty and hidden course costs and bigger issues like housing and getting solutions that won't just work for a few months or look nice on paper, but that will work for years to come.
Thanks. Thanks. And do vote for me, please. Thank you very much. Um,